we ordered a bunch of seafood dishes. Potak is an, another fantastic Thai soup. Should be quite sour, but what I love about potak is that it's such a pure taste. We're taking a trip today to Samut Prakan. You're looking rather fresh this morning. <laughs> really? <laughs> Good morning everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Bangkok, Thailand. Bangkok is located about 20 kilometers north of the, the ocean, the sea, which is actually the Gulf of Thailand. So today we're taking a little drive uh, to the, I think it will be the closest sea in Closest sea to Bangkok, which is in a different province called Samut Prakan. Um, it's about a 20 or so kilometer drive, not too far away. We're gonna see the sea, we're gonna hopefully eat some seafood, and we might stop off at the Samut Prakan market first. In order to drive to Samut Prakan, it's actually really easy to get there from Bangkok, just a straight shot down Sukhumvit Road. arrived to Samut Prakan right in the center of the town and what I love about Samut Prakan is that we never left city to get here although we're in a different province but at the same time Samut Prakan has such a, a pleasant smaller feel to it it has that small town feel, feel to it as opposed to Bangkok we're just walking over to the market we're just gonna spend a, a few minutes walking around the market the seafood market just because we're on our way this direction anyways and it's a fantastic seafood market Horseshoe crab. Lots and lots of awesome seafood at this market from fish, lots of platu, which are mackerel, and then lots of crab and horseshoe crab. There are little shells, and then there are lots of shrimp, and there are even some types of rays over there as well, as well as mantis prawns. Hello! Hello! We've got some giant octopus and a variety of different squid. And she said they're really fresh and good. Okay, I don't really know which is which. This is always such a friendly market to walk around and explore. Many friendly vendors and so much good food. Oh, you know what's really good is one with ginger, mom. Ginger and green apple. I, that's one I, I'll probably get mixed fruit for you. Uh, what would that be? Like everything? Yeah, like, whatever she decides. Just outside of the market, we have stopped by at a juice stall. She has a bunch of fruit and she's juicing them. And I ordered a couple of mixed fruit juices, which she's adding in like pineapple and a variety of different fruits. Uh, but then I wanted to try an interesting combination with bitter melon and also grachai, which is finger root, which has a similar taste to ginger, as well as, I think, green apple. Oh, and she's filling in the mixed fruit right now. <laughs> but we'll see how the bitter melon one tastes. This one is the mixed fruit that I got from my sister, and she says it's really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is delicious. It's perfectly sour and sweet and mm, so fresh. And I think she added in some beetroot as well. That's what made it so red. For my juice, she added in a couple handfuls of bitter melon and a whole handful of the finger root. And then I think just apple. Wow. That is intensely bitter and awesome. Oh. 
bitter but smooth. And then it's countered by the gingery taste of the finger root. And then very sour from the apple. Mmm. Hello, Mark. Mara, Mara, hello, Mark. Ciao, Cup. Nino, I got foam, but hello, I got. And I like how it's squeezed so fresh, so there's still foam on top. It's almost like a, a bitter melon fruit cappuccino. Ying was at first feeding Micah in the car, so that's when we went to go walk around the market, but then she came out. Hello, Micah. Hello. Hello, Micah. And then she went to buy some, what'd you buy, Ying? Sweet and durian chips. She bought, oh, durian chips, my favorite. Okay, I gotta grab some of these durian chips immediately. And by the way, thank you, Ying, for buying these durian chips. And so these are just very thin slices of durian, which are deep fried, just like potato chips, but durian. And normally they use a durian that's pretty unripe, so it has more of a firmer texture rather than that pudding texture. Those are like the, the top of all chips. And I'm gonna wash that down with some bitter melon juice. Oh, this is awesome. Durian chips and bitter melon juice. What a combination. From here, we are driving towards a place called Bangpu. just about a 10 minute drive from the center of Samut Prakan and this place is called Bangpu and it's a navy, Thai navy compound and then they have a pier that goes out into the, the ocean and this is not really a beach, it's not a swimming beach, it's more of a, a looking beach and just a hanging out beach and they have a seafood restaurant here as well and there's also, it's also famous for its seagulls and walking in here you can already see the mangrove forest and it's actually a whole road pier you can I think you can take a golf cart ride to the end of the pier, uh, but I can see lots and lots of seagulls in the distance and you can hear the waves crashing. It's actually quite nice. It's cool to come see, huh? We are about to walk through the valley of the seagulls. Luckily, I have covered Micah's head so that he doesn't get any bird crap on top of his head. Some people buy plates of, maybe it's bread or bird feed to feed the seagulls and so that's why so many seagulls come. But they're actually really amazing to, to watch and just observe. They're so graceful how they fly. And then all the way at the end of the pier is a restaurant called Sala Sukjai. And it's a seafood restaurant. And we are going inside now to eat seafood for lunch. Oh, hello, Imara. <laughs> we walked into the restaurant and I love the feel of this restaurant. It has a kind of traditional like 70s feel to it. And, but then you walk out to the end of the, the pier here and then they have a whole restaurant. Even inside they have almost what it looks like a ballroom where you could have a wedding or an event. And then on the outside to left, to the left or right wing, you can choose either one and come out here and they have an outdoor open air dining section with a great view of the water and the seagulls, the, the sea breeze. And we just ordered some seafood. Give them formula. Uh, yeah. Thank you. That's the thing, right? When you make the stock. We ordered a bunch of seafood dishes and they have all arrived. I wanted to order crab, but the waitress said that they already ran out of crab. So we came a little bit after the main lunch rush. So I guess they sold out of all their crab, but that's okay. We got plenty of awesome looking seafood. I'll just start explaining what we're eating from this dish right here and then just kind of go around clockwise. 
Uh, this is pak gut, which is a type of fern stir fried, and then we also got gung opun sen, which is uh, mung bean noodles and shrimp in a kind of baked in this pot, but baked but with a with a stove, not in an oven. And then we've also got hoi um, maleng pu, which are uh, mussels, which are also kind of baked in this pot along with some basil and then that seafood sauce there on the side and then we got tod man pla which are little fried fish cakes there is also some fried basil on top i believe as well and for soup we got potak tale which potak is an another fantastic thai soup should be quite sour but what i love about potak is that it's such a pure taste uh, I think a seafood stock and then seafood in there, but then it's just sour with lime juice and then just, yeah, just a really pure, delicious taste. And then finally over here is a fried fish. This is a blakapong tod nam pla, which is a, it's a barramundi fish uh, marinated in some fish sauce and deep fried with that wonderful looking sauce there. Check out that sauce. Let me start with that po pack and put some of it. There's fish in here, there's shrimp, there are mushrooms. She's enjoying the fish. Put some of this into my bowl. And I'm gonna get some of that fish as well. And a lot of that broth. Just taste some of that broth. Oh, that soup is amazing. Oh, it's so sour and then perfectly salty. And yeah, it just tastes so pure. I think it's a fish stock broth. And then all that seafood in there. Mm, you can really taste the, the cilantro in there. And you can taste the chilies in there, although it's not spicy, but it has a, a fresh chili flavor to it. Well, that's such a soothing broth. You can have the shrimp with mung meats, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the, the fried fish here. Try some of this fried fish. Break off this piece here. A lot of And then that sauce in particular looks awesome. <laughs> looks like there's some. There might be some green mango down here. It looks like shredded green mango with chilies that on right onto the fish. And eat with rice. Oh yeah. The fish is so crispy. Kind of a sweet and sour green mango chili sauce. And then next up for the gung opun sen. And they're, they often flavor this. You can see on the bottom there's some ginger, there's garlic. And then also the, the rat pak shi, which is the cilantro roots, which give it some flavor. And then sometimes they also add some, a little bit of pork lard down at the bottom there to give it some, a boost of deliciousness but just those noodles are really fragrant. Oh yeah. Mm. You can really taste the ginger in there. Or maybe that's because I got a whole piece of ginger in that bite. But that is really good. And the, the way they've made it here, the mung bean noodles are not soggy like they sometimes get. And then also the mussels and... thirsty? Yeah, there is water at the bottom here, so... It is steamed. There's lemongrass also, and there's also basil, sweet basil. Let me get a, a little leaf of basil with a mussel. Dip it into the seafood sauce. The mussels just have a slight aroma of the lemongrass and sweet basil. And then dipped into that chili garlicky sauce. Oh, but you can really, yeah, you can taste that sweet basil nicely. I'm going in for the tod man pla. Mm, okay, so. And then that's all basil fried on top as well. Check out the insides of that. You can see some chili and then also some slices of uh, long bean in there. Mm. Oh, sometimes it can have a really, really smooth almost hot dog texture to it but this has more of a like a ground fish flavor texture to it which is really good mm. it's almost like it's almost like a fish scrambled egg but deep fried into a patty shape i mean you could just eat those and then finally for the fried vegetable which is pakgut which is a type of fern 
เป็นผู้ใหญ่ใช่ It's always one of my favorite vegetables. It's crisp, and then they've just stir fried this, maybe in a little bit of oyster sauce and a little bit of fish sauce, maybe. Mm. <laughs> We just finished with lunch. That was a fantastic seafood meal. I think probably my favorite dish was actually that soup, that potak t a l e If you come to this restaurant, don't don't miss that potak. It was so sour and so flavorful. Really, really good. And then just this atmosphere here. And then also, as you're sitting eating, you can see the seagulls flying around. Very nice, very pleasant place. Uh, but I can imagine on the weekends it gets very busy here because this is just such a nice place. And the food is good. This was a great little trip to Bangpu, and the this whole atmosphere here. The seagulls are nice to see, but I'm probably going to skip feeding them. But if you come here, you can feed the seagulls, and then the restaurant serves good seafood, and then it's just it's pretty close to Bangkok. I think this is one of the closest possible. Places that you can come to see the ocean. It's not a, not a swimming beach, but it's nice to look at. We're heading back to the car, and we're just driving back straight up north, up Sukhumvit, back to Bangkok. And goodbye from Bangpu. Goodbye to all of the the seagulls. Goodbye, seagulls. And Micah has just been sleeping again throughout this entire day trip. He's enjoying. The breeze, though the sea breeze. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. Thank you again for watching, and goodbye from Bangpu.